come on. Get in there. Go for it. I attempted this trap last year, but was met with nothing but failure. Uh, whether it was failure from the squirrels or from other animals. So I scrapped it until this year. I was throwing around so many ideas, but just came back to the fact that the squirrels are so much stronger than mice, and I wanted a trap that would prevent escape. I had an old dirty computer case that I picked up out of the ditch. The internals of the computer I used for my Xbox gaming computer. You can see the card in the uh, top right hand corner. But the case was way too dirty to use. I was going to throw it out, but then I had this idea. It's metal. It's heavy. I could use this for my squirrel trap. The only issue was, was that it had a lot of holes. So I used some scrap metal that I had, and where I could, I riveted those scrap pieces in place. Now, my first design was a failure. I tried to use a trap door that I'd used in mouse traps, but the squirrels just wouldn't go in. Then I made a trigger system for that door, but that still didn't work. They didn't seem to want to go into that trap. So back to the drawing board. I decided to go for a more deadfall trap style without the dead. I used a small trigger stick system instead of the figure four trigger system. I thought I'd be smart and glue some seeds on the bait stick, but the squirrels just picked the seeds right off. So I utilized the bait cage I'd used on one of the previous designs for this squirrel trap. One problem that I didn't foresee was that birds were going into the trap and picking up the seeds. I was worried that I'd catch a bird instead. Then. A nice fat big gray squirrel, well it's black but it's a gray squirrel, came to the trap and I thought, this is it, this is it. But for some reason they didn't go for it. Until this red squirrel came around. Now red squirrels are very aggressive and they'll drive off any of those larger gray squirrels from the bird feeder area. So when I saw this red squirrel come, I knew this could be the moment. And there, we got it. Now. This is a live trap and I did let it go. Unfortunately, I didn't get the footage because of the squirrels. Well, man, they're fast. The next day I caught a gray squirrel. I got some footage of the release this time, but it was pretty much a blur in the poor lighting. Now, why live catch a squirrel? Well, you may be trying to catch it in the attic or the shed and just wish to release it back into the wild. If you wanted to eat it, you should just make a kill trap. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I certainly had a blast filming the capture. Now, if you're interested, I'm just going to go through a little bit more about the build. This is the front of the PC with the cover taken off. I've had to fill in all the little gaps and holes. Also in the back with the I.O. shield and so forth, the power supply. I just, uh, I just have rivets, so I did rivet these pieces of scrap tin. You see this is the door, this is the trapping area. To hinge the door, I simply, these are just pieces of cookie tin that I riveted to the case to make a, a hinge. So not high tech at all and I think over time it may loosen up but for now it is working fantastic. This is my trigger system. I have a little tiny notch, little tiny notch that I put in here. I open it up here and I just set it. There we go. I'll put some bait on the end of the stick and when the squirrel or whatever it'll drop down and catch it. case is pretty heavy so I don't think that they'll be able to uh, get their way out from under there. And again thanks for watching. It uh, is a pretty simple concept. It just took a year to do. That's all. That's the way it goes with uh, these homemade self-made traps. It works really well and I'm really really happy with it. It was well worth the wait and stay tuned for more Ladybug Adventures.